Today we're talking about the DC Multiverse figures from McFarlane Toys. Like I said in the intro, we're talking about the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line today and specifically some of the complaints in the community about this this line that i absolutely love absolutely love as you can see over here behind me uh most uh, i have most of the figures over there standing up eh, there's a few marvel legends down there at the bottom forget those though but that's you know mostly the uh McFarlane Toys, multiverse, DC Multiverse stuff. But I, I really wanted to talk about the, the community. Uh, I, I do run the Facebook group, uh, DC uh, McFarlane, McFarlane DC Multiverse, uh, 8,000 members strong and growing each and every day. But some of the things that I am seeing on that group, there are a lot, a lot of complaints about this being more of a Batman line instead of a DC Comics multiverse line. And I get it. Honestly, I do. I get it. But the thing with thing early on with this line, you got to remember McFarlane is only one year into not even a year yet because the line started in January. So you still got another month, but there's only they're, only, they're only really one year into this line. And the way to keep this line going is to sell Batman because Batman moves products. Doesn't matter what kind of Batman, Batman is the name that sells the product. And unfortunately, that's just a way of life for, for us at this point because Batman is Batman and the Batman family is the most popular character or the most popular characters that DC Comics has right now. You could say Superman, Green Lantern, The Flash. Yes, they are I would say B-level characters compared to Batman. It's like DC has a its own list of A-level characters like Superman, like The Flash, like Wonder Woman, Green Lantern. Uh, but Batman sits up here as the gold standard even above A and even some of his characters are up here above, and, and his family are above this A level. I would put the Joker right up there with Batman right now as one of the most popular, Harley Quinn as one of the most popular Batman uh, related characters and most popular DC Comics characters around at this point. For whatever reason, you know, over the years, Batman, and he is cool, has just elevated himself above DC Comics. To, in, in my opinion, also in my opinion, McFarlane Toys is in this to make money and Batman sales and there's no way around pushing Batman over anything else. As you can see with these releases, you know, he, he, they're, they're heavily bat Each wave is heavily Batman themed with a little nugget stuck in there for everybody else. Um, two, I'm noticing that since DC Direct is no more, and, and this just has me wondering, I'm not, I don't know anything. I, this is just me spouting off at the mouth and me trying to read the tea leaves that DC Direct has, has left this hole here. And they were the ones that did the, you know, I, I, they did the comic related action figures. And I know with Mattel towards the end, they started doing some of that as well with their DC multiverse line, but it just seems like McFarlane toys is, is here to, to fit this, this, this hole this missing inside of the DC comics universe, as far as collectibles go with the action figures and trying to replace DC direct and not, not necessarily replace Mattel, but replace DC direct. Because as you can see, with especially the last couple of waves with the death metal stuff, it's all comic comic book based and it's all coming at you really, really quick. Like the, the last wave that was solicited, which included, um, Oh, the, the Batman and forgive me. I don't know these the, the actual character names anymore. I haven't read the death metal stuff, but like the, uh, the, the Dark Knight's death metal Wonder Woman, the uh, the Batman with guitar, the Superman, and uh, the Dark Father. I, I'm under the impression that's all in this latest wave of death metal stuff. So 
They're really putting the turnaround on this. McFarland Toys is doing a great job of putting the turnaround on getting these things, you know, solicited and into the hands of collectors a lot faster than any company has ever done for DC Comics. And that's just a testament to, to how great of a company McFarland Toys is. Does he want to probably give you Guy Gardner's and Blue Beetles and uh elongated man's of the DC universe. I'm sure he does. And I am sure that given time and hopefully with the popularity of not only the DC brand now and McFarlane toys and them coming together to do this, hopefully that will give them longevity to produce some of these more obscure characters that we can add to our collection. My biggest problem with the DC multiverse line right now is not the heavy Batman theme that's going on. My biggest problem is the scale issue. I am a collector who likes to put my figures, you know, on display on shelves. And when I look at them, I don't look at them as individual figures. I look at them as a whole. And when I see Nightwing topping out way above Superman or Batgirl, you know, way over Superman and the Batman who laughs, you know, shorter than everybody else. It's really frustrating. And it, and it's the one thing that has, that has me, you know, not over the top with the DC multiverse line. Like if, if you look at the DC multiverse line from Mattel, they were all generally in scale. You look at the Marvel legends, they're generally in scale. Star Wars, the black series, generally in scale. There are outliers in each of those ways. I, I Granted, I'll give you that. But as collectors, we want in scale product. And I don't think that is what we're getting with McFarland Toys. And, you know, there were promises made at Toy Fair that, oh, you know, wave two, wave three, we have this fixed. I'm not seeing it. And I know that they're using, they're reusing some molds, repaints, to bring new figures like Nightwing, the red version of Nightwing compared to the blue version of Nightwing. And that's fine, but you're still, you're sticking a uh, out of scale figure, you know, and, and reselling it as something new and it's still way out of scale. And it's gonna frustrate collectors. And at some point it will frustrate them enough that they will lose interest in this line. And it is something that I do not, I'm praying the interest does not go away because what he is doing right now, what McFarland Toys is doing right now is really something special. Um, yes, I would like to see a little more diversity in what they're putting out as far as character selection. I, I know we just got the, the Green Lantern, John Stewart solicited. That's great. Uh, that's the first Green Lantern since the very first wave of figures hit and it just happens to be the same Green Lantern, John Stewart, you know, when there are several other Green Lanterns like Guy Gardner, like Kyle Rayner, like Hal Jordan, like any alien that you want to pick that, that has been a Green Lantern. So, I, you know, I, I wish that they would that they would release more, but I do think it's coming. I, I just think it's going to take time. It's going to this is the first year is like the the analytics part where they have to to see what worked, what didn't work, and how they want to pursue you know future years with this line. It's just like you know in the beginning when Todd first you know talked about the line, it was oh, and each wave is going to come with these little pieces to make a Batmobile, and you have a Batmobile for every you know generation, blah blah blah. That lasted one wave, right? And he had plans for multiple waves. Apparently wasn't good enough. I mean, apparently fans just didn't dig it, so there wasn't there wasn't that many waves. I mean, there's just one wave of that thing. So, you know, let and, and the build a figure. You know, he was wanting to do something different than the build a figure. Now we see a build a figure, you know, in, in, in a recent wave. So let's just give him time. I, I think he's 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 seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, and all the while he's doing this, he has the 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 knowledge that I'm going to move this product because it's Batman and this is my test bed right now and because it this first year is my test bed and because I'm selling Batman I'm not going to lose money 
I'm going to make money. When he gets everything figured out, then he can start rolling out waves of the Flash and Booster Gold and Lex Luthor and Hawkman and, you know, uh, Cyborg in just one wave by themselves where you don't, you know, you're going to have people coming and buying complete sets or complete waves. So let's just give it a little while. My only other complaint with this line, and I know it seems like I'm complaining a lot, is the gold variants, the chases. I hate them. I know this is what McFarlane Toys has done since McFarlane Toys decided to make, start making toys back in the 90s for Spawn. You know, there was always that golden chase. I hate it with a passion. Um, I am a completist at heart. And when I see that, it doesn't fit in my, this is not part of the DC multiverse. This is part of the gold verse, whatever you want to call it, which doesn't exist inside of DC Comics. And it's just one of those things that makes me say, oh, I really need to buy it. But I have been good and I've held off from purchasing those. I, I just said hands off of those gold figures. Not, I'm not interested. I'm not play, paying eBay prices. I'm not going diving through, uh, through store shelves looking for these things. I don't care. Um, so it's really been uh, helpful to me because it's sort of, help me separate myself from being a completist in, in, in a way. So thanks Todd, you know, there's always a silver lining in, in everything. And I think that helped. So that, that's a good thing, but let's get back to the Batman thing before we go. Cause I'm going to wrap this up. I didn't want it to be this long. Uh, that's the reason that Batman, everything I said, that's the reason that Batman is the primary focus right now. And two, maybe DC comics plays a part in this too. Again, I don't know anything. I'm just saying, I, you know, they have to, ha they have final check off, final say on what figures are being produced by McFarland Toys. And maybe they are driving the bus right now. You know, that could be another factor. They could be driving the bus where, you know, telling, hey, McFarland, this is what we got going on in the comics. These are the figures we want to promote, we want to push, you know, get them out quick. Roughly the same time the comics are coming out when, this, you know, a few months while the, while the story's hitting big so that people can get to know these characters, get to know the, the new stuff that's going on. And, and maybe that's that's part of it, too. And then right now it's primarily Batman focused. The big events in DC Comics are, are Batman focused. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, you know, rip me a new one if you want to, or say, Hey, I agree with you. Everything you say, that would be great. If you will subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. So you can uh, be notified every time a new video comes out. That would be awesome. And go check out the McFarland DC multiverse Facebook group on Facebook. Lots of people there. Uh, always talking about these things right now. The biggest thing is the flashpoint Batman. <laughs> I mean, it seems like everybody's posting pictures of that each and every day, but go check that out. It's really awesome.